12 single girls looking for love. I'm here to get me my Prince Charming and my happy ending. They think they're dating the world's most eligible bachelor, Prince Harry of Wales, fourth in line to the throne. That's Prince Harry. He's Prince Harry, and I know it. But he's not really a prince. This is Matt. I'm just a normal guy. It can be disappointing when girls realize that I'm not Prince Harry, and then they show no more interest. He's hoping one of them will love him for the man he really is. Wow, they are 12 fantastic women who are frankly all beautiful and way out of my league. Will he pull off the deception? I think it's him. And when he reveals his shocking secret. There's one more thing you should know. If I was a normal guy, would it make a difference? Will there be a fairy tale ending? If at the end of all this, the girl I choose says, yes, let's have a go at this, it would have been completely worth it. Or a real life nightmare. He lied to me. It feels like my heart was ripped out of my chest. on I Want to Marry Harry. The competition for a fake prince has stirred up tension between the girls. You're ticked. You don't know your alcohol tolerance. I think you girls are the mean girls. Don't you dare call me a mean girl, bitch. You're just constantly judging. Well, when you're making an ass out of yourself, of course I'm going to be judging you. Jackie is not princess material. Carly's looks caught the prince's attention. Carly is a stunning girl. But her personality failed to keep it. I still don't quite feel like I know you all that well. I think I'm going to have to ask you to leave the estate. And Karina. You are a bit charming. Hopefully, we can get to see some more of each other. Moved closer to his heart. I'd like to ask if you want to go into the crown suite. Yeah. yeah. I'm ecstatic. I feel like he's definitely interested in me. And I get to go on a date with Prince Harry. Nine single girls remain, each hoping to win the heart of a man they think might be royal. I think he's an important guy, but if it's really Prince Harry, I will feel like the biggest ding dong that I didn't know and it took me this long. The fact that he's been taking people on extravagant dates, he's obviously a man who can get what he wants. And so what can I do that he doesn't have? To eliminate any remaining doubt that the girls are dating a true prince, some gentle persuasion is afoot. With this photoshopped image of myself and my royal brother, I have to convince these girls that I am Prince Harry. Time to summon Karina. A theory that he might be Prince Harry, but I'm not positive. Good morning. Good morning. Either way, I really am just trying to get to know him. Well, this is your room. Mm -hmm. I've been hiding from you guys around the you house. You have. Uh, <laughs> what's something you can tell me that you haven't told the other girls about yourself? Mm. My birthday's coming up soon. I don't think I've mentioned that to the girls. Mm hmm Um, is your birthday, like, mm, never mind. It's in the next six weeks. No, I shouldn't figure <laughs> out how old you were. <laughs> mm. Can I just pop to the loop? Yeah, oh, go sorry. ahead. Excuse me. No, I'll be back please shortly. don't leave. Okay. Oh my God, like no way. Is that who I think it is? Thank you. Is that you and your brother? Yes. We're really close, so I just take it around and 
I was at a polo event last year. Do you play polo? Mm-mm. Mm? I'm, I'm excited, because it's kind of like one of those things you're like, yeah, I knew it. He's Prince Harry. Super, well, have a good day. You too. And thank you again for coming over. Yeah. And I'll see you later. Yeah, sounds good. All right, bye. See you later. I'm not sure if I should tell them what I saw. Really? Like, hi! Hey! hey! Because I wasn't sure if he wanted to be the one to tell them who he is. There is a picture of him and his brother, and it was sitting out on the shelf. In his room. Oh. In his room. His okay. Dun, dun, dun. What? Shut the up. What? what? Is it what we He want? looks a lot like... William? Oh, my gosh. I knew it! I knew it was Harry. We've all been suspecting it, but up until this point, it was all just suspicion. He had really red hair in the picture, and I go, is that you in the picture? And he's like, yeah, that's my brother. He Wait. keeps saying how much he loves Vegas. He's I feel bad. like a really You're big like... ding dong. I've already known this whole time that it is Prince Harry, but for the other girls, this is like shocking information. Our pretend prince has picked two girls to spend extra time with today. Oh, Kingsley! Kingsley! <laughs> Good morning, ladies. We are gathered here today outside the stables because all our activities revolve around horses. So, some of you will be riding horses today, and the others will be mucking out the stables. Good shot! Mm. Mucking. Whatever the that is. I need a girl who doesn't mind getting her hands dirty. I'm clearly not a prince in real life. I need someone who doesn't mind doing the hard work. The ladies who will be riding horses are... Chelsea... Yay. Maggie. Really? Mm. I would never think that in my wildest dreams, I'd be dating Prince Harry. Like, this is crazy. Riders, please get changed over there. The rest of you, into your overalls. <laughs> this is not part of a romantic adventure. I did not sign up for this. Well, uh -uh, I've never done uh -uh. I'm glad I wore my sneakers today. I know all the rest of the girls are pissed as <laughs> because they're told to go change into their overalls to clean the stables. What did we do wrong? I chose Chelsea and Maggie because I'm still wondering if I have chemistry with either of these two girls, or is it time for one of them to go? Coming up... I've seen your wild side. Uh-huh. <laughs> that wasn't nice. Chelsea comes under fire. Stop rolling your eyes because I'm trying to... Stop clapping your hands at me, then. I'm to the point where I'm over the edge. And later... I'm telling you, he's not Harry. He doesn't look like him. Is Annalisa about to uncover Matt's secret? What kind of responsibilities do you have? I shouldn't... I can't really say. I don't think she's falling for the Prince Harry charade at all. Our pretend prince has decided to spend time with Maggie and Chelsea. Hi. While the rest of the girls must show if they can handle a little hard work. Look at us, Chelsea. We look like real riders. I know. I see something coming. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, honey. You look so Hello. Fun. How are you enjoying the mucking out? Oh, it's just grand. I feel so lame. I want to be going on a date instead of picking up poop. Are you having Hi. fun? So far, so good. <laughs> when he passes us on his horse, I, like, give him a look over. OK, he is Prince Harry. Hi. Hello. You look so How are you? good on your horse. You look fantastic. We're on our horses, and then he just trots up, and he's in, like, the cutest little riding outfit with the little helmet. This should be fun. Yeah. Should we make a move? Yeah. Come on. Is this, like, a little trail up here? Yeah, absolutely. Prince Harry is well known for being extremely competent on horseback, and I'm not. If I show incompetency, I think this date could potentially be a slight hiccup in my ruse. The Prince Harry talk continues, but 
Quite honestly, I don't care. I don't care who you are. I'm not scared to approach you. I'm not scared to challenge you. That's just what it is. I'm just more interested in getting to know him. So pretty. So what's your type? It'd be fun and spontaneous. Have you dated a lot? There were one or two longer relationships, but nothing really stuck. I'm dying to know. <laughs> and this is going to be so awkward. Have you ever dated a black girl? I haven't, no. You haven't? No. Would you? Color doesn't come into it at all. Very, very understandable. I like Chelsea's character. She is extremely upfront, very down to earth. If people don't like that, they can deal with it. That's a really good character trait to have. You're a natural. Really? <laughs> it's amazing to get to share that with him. Unfortunately, Chelsea's here with us, so that kind of sucks. I'm just, this is hard. Yes. Oh my God. Freaking mucking. Oh my gosh. These hands are not made to do mucking. Uh. Oh, this is hard work, girl. There's so much. <laughs> the things a girl will do to win a boy. And we didn't even get to ride the horse. We, we didn't get to ride anything. Gross. Well, I have a question. Does Sir want his lady to be able to do this? Yeah. Like, come out in the stable when he's doing all of his special work? Yeah, I guess. OK, so we need to learn this. Yeah. And then we can show we can do this and he'll like us more. Something. Hopefully. <laughs> There's little Kelly still shoveling away like a happy camper, gonna get the Prince Charming. Like, what if you just do this? Is there Ugh. He wants to see who can break and who can shine. Oh, there's a big hunger. I'm from the South. I grew up around horses and around barns. Like, work is work. If you have to clean up poop, clean it up. I think Kelly's thinking that there's gonna be like an engagement ring after this. Done. <laughs> Kelly was like MVP. Hell yeah. Most valuable pooper scooper. <laughs> you got a little poop on your boob. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Hopefully, Maggie stays sober enough to stay on her horse. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, this is just Looks good. Yeah. We come up to this cute little like picnic scene. It's on these haystacks, and it's everything you could have asked for. Now, a few some beer or some cider. I would love some beer. Yeah. I would love it. We yeah. know, Meg. <laughs> we know. <laughs> that wasn't nice. I'm just joking. You're really funny, though. <laughs> ah, brother. Oh, we know, Maggie. You love your beer. And I just want to be like, are you kidding me? Like, don't say that to me in front of him. I'm not that crazy, you guys. And now you are. It was a dirty little trick to like throw me under the bus and it really pisses me off. I mean, I like to have fun. Who doesn't? This is why I took you out today because I, I wanted to see, I've seen your wild side. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I wanted to see what you were what like. Else? Yeah. Out of your comfort zone, perhaps. <laughs> it wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> the conversation was a struggle. Maggie and Chelsea aren't getting on. I really don't know what it was, but it was a tough lunch. I hope you had so fun much today. today. I had we did. Yeah. yeah. It was really fun. Hours later, Maggie is still furious with Chelsea. Chelsea, I felt very like thrown off today. What did I say that was negative about? Um, when we were at lunch, I said, "Oh my gosh, you have a beer here. That's so thoughtful." And you were like, "We know, Maggie. If you were so embarrassed, you wouldn't be getting piss ass drunk every night." I'm just saying that. Chelsea calls Maggie out for being a drunk, and I'm sitting in the middle. Excuse me? If you really me? don't want him to know what's going on, I'm sure they're telling I because he reports back. So then why? Why are you worried about it? I felt like that was a dirty trick. I didn't mean it in a negative way. It was not a very sweet thing to do to someone that you would think that it was your friend. I don't think Chelsea purposely said that to, like, sabotage Maggie's chances. Maybe Maggie's being a little too sensitive. The argument basically continued from walking out of dinner, walking up the stairs. Hold on, pump your brakes, pump your brakes, pump your brakes. You don't have to be my homegirl. It has nothing to do with me have to build a bond and be blood sisters. I don't give a damn. Simple as that. Stop rolling your eyes because I'm trying Just to- Stop clapping your hands at me then. Like, if you're going to clap your hands and say, pump your brakes. Because you're talking about stupid Aren't we here for Prince Harry? 
I mean, can he know that there's like monstrous fights happening when we should all solely be focused on him? You so caught up in your emotion. So are you obvious. I'm not. Well then let's just leave it as that. Kingsley's coming, guys. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Miss Karina, you will be spending time with Sir today on an exclusive excursion. Ooh. I am super excited. Like, my heart drops. I have butterflies. Uh, Is that a helicopter? Uh, you got a helicopter? Uh, you got a helicopter? Uh, got a helicopter? Here it comes. No. Here it comes. It's a random helicopter. She's the luckiest girl in the world. Super looking forward to like having that romantic connection. Like I want to see if he kisses well. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? You, you look, look great. Beautiful. Thank you. You excited for this? Still reveling in her crown suite status, Karina sets off for time alone with our pretend prince. But one of the girls is not buying the royal ruse. I'm telling you, he's not Harry. He doesn't look like him. Okay, I really think he is like the real deal. It's the nose. Really? The security was real. And he's and not. He's so not calm about time. all these lavish things he's doing, like getting in the helicopter. Like, it's just like normal to him. We are discussing who this guy is. Kelly is dead set that he's Prince Harry. Annalisa's saying hell no. So who really knows? I think Karina is convinced I'm Prince Harry, but I'm just really nervous. I could blow this at any point. Wow. Have you ever been to the capital before? No. We've got a really exciting day lined up. I've done the training. I know everything I need to know, but I'm not Prince Harry. I know she doesn't realize it, but it's just really tough. Oh my God. That's the Shard. I think it's the tallest building in London. London Bridge coming up. There's Buckingham Palace. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. It's a dream. I can't even fathom what that would be like. Um, You want to go to Buckingham Palace for the day where I live? <laughs> Have you got your eyes open? Ready for landing? <laughs> I've got you. <laughs> Sorry, I think I was like grabbing your. <laughs> yeah, I can't feel my right hand now, but I've lost circulation in it. <laughs> Touchdown. That was so cool. I'm getting a lifestyle that people only dream of. I am completely caught up in this. I have to pinch myself because I could blow this at any point. Rolls Royce, yeah, helicopter. I feel like I can get very used to this lifestyle. My greatest fear is the girls fall entirely for the whole scenario and the trappings. And then when it's revealed I'm not actually from wealth or status, they'll just turn around and have no interest. Up ahead, some planted Prince Harry fans are standing by. It really is like a dream. No. Very shy. It's for me, I know. I think it Everyone was for you. Knows yeah. I who think I, it was. Who I am here. <laughs> they were shouting, Harry, Harry from the bridge. I think she was convinced. <laughs> Definitely for you. I know, it's all for me. <laughs> Some girls recognized who the gentleman is, and they were going wild for him. That was pretty interesting to see. I'm bored now. You're bored? I'm sorry we're boring you. I would never say that. Chelsea, do you hate us? No. I just feel like you guys aren't going to understand what I'm saying, so there's no point in even talking about it. My, my situation with you, I would... As long as I'm... Don't interrupt me when I'm speaking. I don't so, care to talk about it So then. when I'm in the... I don't care to talk about it then. That's very rude. She's trying to make okay. a point. We let okay. you make your point. Let her speak. I just that is it. rude. I just feel like it's immature. If like, you I'm guys don't shut the up, I don't care what you guys Excuse really? me? Excuse you me? You need to, like, stop with your attitude. No. 
I need, I'm sorry, I need to what? Maggie and Annalisa are being bullies and Meg acting like the mean girls now. And they're more or less upset that Chelsea hasn't made any efforts to become their friend. And the truth be told is, Chelsea just doesn't care. These are not her friends. Don't talk about it. Okay. Because you can shut the up. Okay. Yeah, that's what you can do. <laughs> this is what they do. They talk and they say, we're not the mean girls. We don't double team. Bitch, yes, you do. I'm to the point where I'm irritated and I'm over the edge. What's a normal day like for you? It's not, I don't think it's really about what you do anyway. I don't think no. it really matters what you do on a day as long as you just have a lot of fun with the person you're in. You're it. Yeah. Uh -huh. We could be anywhere right now and I don't think it would matter. kiss <laughs> and it feels so good and I finally think okay I was right about my feelings because this kiss is amazing my connection with Karina is just an automatic physical chemistry and connection you're so adorable it's like a fiery like bang bang sort of in your face I am attracted to you you are attracted to me sort of feeling and it's a really exciting Cheers to good champagne. Yeah. And a lovely day. Lovely day. Tiena's is off as can you tell You took it to a whole other level. I quite like you. Yeah? Mm. I quite like you too. Don't tell the girls I'll get jealous. I think they will. Be Prince Harry's girlfriend. If he wants a girl like me. He's fabulous. I'm sure he has his pick around the world, but okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Holy shit, what have I done here? What am I getting myself into? Kissing Prince Harry. How was it? We make out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> tongue. <laughs> yeah, there was tongue. I really want to kiss from him. I'm really jealous about this. I can tell he really, really likes her, and it's hard. Oh, we go past a bridge. There are girls screaming on the bridge and pointing at him. Oh, my God. Yes. What um, were they saying? They, I couldn't hear, but going wild and pointing, and like, oh my god, and getting their phones out. Yeah, it's the real deal. His his um, security is a real, real deal. Girls are uh, screaming and screaming. getting their phones out. Screaming. It's confirmed. It's definitely him. Like, this is who I am. It's definitely Prince Harry. What else do we need to know? Coming up, there's still one skeptic in the group. What kind of responsibilities do you have? I shouldn't, I can't really say. And Matt cracks under questioning. Because there's a lot of charities and patronages that I may not be able to hold up the facade much longer. Dinner time at the castle, and one of the girls is missing. <laughs> I don't know where in the hell Chelsea is. I, I question, does she really want to be here? I don't know how to get rid of all this anger and this frustration I have. I'm trying my best to keep to myself, but I'm mad. The cattiness is pissing me off. The group of bitches who feel like they have to gang up on people is irritating me. So I have to pull myself out. Like, as much as I love a pity party, like, get over it. Put your big girl's your big girl panties on. Mm -hmm. If she were to be nice, we'd all lovingly accept her, but she's not being nice right now. Why isn't he seeing this side he of know. her that we are seeing? I think he knows a lot more than we even think he, he knows. knows. Kingsley's definitely telling him what's up. He's the one there watching us, the way we interact with each other, how we behave. Mm -hmm. He's He has an eye on us. Like, how we talk, the way we talk, the way we sit, the way we stand, the way we dance, the way we don't dance. He's watching. 
you, he will figure it out. He's yes. not. He's not a dumb he's man. He's not stupid. Yeah. Miss Karina. Yeah. Sir would like you to join him in the master suite for drinks. <gasps> oh. Immediately, all of us are like, okay, bye, Karina. We love you. Have fun. Be good. Bye. Not too bad. <sighs> what? Yeah. He really likes it. <laughs> yeah, he does. Shoot. I really like him, You're too. Oh. Hello. You are so cute. I feel like I'm being courted by a prince. He's showing me affection, and it makes me happy. You're very interesting. Mm -hmm. Wait till you find out all about me. Yeah. But what you see here is, is me. Is you. Mm -hmm. Lying to someone you don't know is OK. You can put up with it. But lying to someone you actually start to have feelings for, just, it feels a bit wrong. I can't believe I'm kissing Harry in his room on a bed right now. <laughs> oh, it's good. Oh, girl. We're drinking in our sorrow right now. <laughs> she's like, she got a makeout session and a whole day with him. Let's be real, guys. Yeah. Now, Karina is the one that's like his eyes. It's just hard to hear when they have great makeout sessions. I know, <laughs> I know, Kelly. I get really jealous, too. <laughs> Everyone cracked. Their shell broke out that they wanted to be in her shoes. If they do get intimate tonight, good for them. Just tell us how big it is. That's all we want to know. I'm sick of this. I just want to spend time with them. Like, I want to be in the crown suite. I'm tired of sitting in the corner and not being given a chance. It's not fair. Six feet, I six figures, six. Yeah, because if it's little, I'm out. <laughs> The next morning, Chelsea still hasn't rejoined the girls. Can you explain yourself? Where have you been for the past 24 hours? I think it'd be awkward if she came in at all. At this point, yeah. Chelsea has requested some time alone with the pretend prince. How are you doing? How are you? I'm fine. Kingsley, Kingsley said, I don't know, something's arrived. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? Well, I just want to let you know mm -hmm. that it has nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. But there's so much cattiness that's going on. Mm -hmm. And it's to the point where there's so much negativity. I'll be honest with you, it got to the point where I had to get into a verbal, you know, wow. argument with someone. Sounds like there's a lot going on behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. but I don't know whether to ask you about that or not, or if <laughs> I need to figure that out for myself, who it is. but. Just know it's the ones who are always super up in your face, you know? It's a group of them. It's a real shame. Um, what are you saying? I just need to pull myself out of the situation. As in, leave? Yeah. Um, don't make a, a, a rash decision. There's just too much going on. So I can't persuade you to stay at all, or? No. Um, I'm sorry that I couldn't, you know, wait it out longer. The look on his face, it made me feel really bad because it made me feel like I'm making the wrong decision to leave. Chelsea. Yeah. Oh, You're right sorry. though. Yeah. I don't like the thought of some of the girls bullying Chelsea. It's a shame that she's been pushed to this decision. She had hinted at it being the larger characters in the group. So I think I know which girls played a part in this. Hey. Hello. So, how are you feeling? Are you back? I'm good. I came to tell you guys I'm leaving. I'm leaving because I'm not the type of person now to say, OK, we can be friends. My anger turns into rage because I feel like people are against me, and I'm going to react in a way that's going to blow everybody away, and I don't want that. Don't just give up and leave. We hate to see you go, but like, I wish you well. Thank you. Same here. Chelsea, I think she's a cool girl, but she's beaten up. She's forgotten the reason she's here, which is for the gentleman. And these girls have come to a point that they've like destroyed her. He's a great guy, and I feel so bad that I'm walking out and leaving. 
without him even getting to know me and me getting to know him. Ladies, may I have your attention, please? Oh, hi, Kingsley. <laughs> I'm sure you're all very sad to see Chelsea go, but life must go on. Yes. So this afternoon, sir, would like you all to spend some time with him in the main garden. Okay. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Go, <laughs> Kelly. Oh, no, that didn't oh, work out. So 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 you're so committed to this. Was so good. It wasn't that. so good. Oh, nice. Kelly, we threw the mat. Holy. <laughs> Kelly's level of competition is bizarre. <laughs> That is dangerous. <laughs> I don't care what it takes. I will show him that I'm the athletic one. Go on then, Kelly. Here we go. <laughs> That's not fair. I need to get up closer <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> Kelly's very good at sliding. Kelly's just extremely down to earth. You know, maybe not as glamorous and glitzy as the other girls, but I think there's a, a really sweet girl within that crazy exterior. Next point wins. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Right. Great match, we guys. <laughs> Should we go for a chat round here, actually? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Be back in a little bit. Yeah, go for it. The one girl still questioning whether she's really dating Prince Harry is Annalisa. Finally, I have an opportunity to speak to him. How are you doing? Really good. You should know. I'm intrigued by you. I obviously want to get to know you. I stopped everything in LA to come meet you. Like, let's let's talk. It seems like you're used to this. This no, lifestyle. Not Yes and no, this is very different to... <laughs> yeah, I heard you have a lot of fans. Mm? Karina said that on your date there were a lot of fans taking pictures. I think they must have just seen the cameras on the boat and it was one. It was quite a fancy boat and they were just like, oh, look at that. Um, mm -hmm. Sure. You like Vegas um, a lot? Vegas? Yeah. No, Vegas is good. No, a lot of the girls said that you like Vegas well, a lot. I, who doesn't like Vegas? I've actually only been once. I still doubt that he is Prince Harry. He doesn't really have that many freckles. He doesn't look exactly like him. What kind of responsibilities do you have, if you don't mind me asking? I shouldn't, I can't really say. Okay. But they're, they're all family related. Um, it's all events, really. Um, Does this happen often, is, all these events? Yeah, all the time. Because there's a lot of charities and patronages that they require presence at, and some of them, they're really fun to go to. I don't think she is falling for the Prince Harry charade at all. I may not be able to hold up the facade much longer. I'm, I'm up for anything. Okay. Um, I'm completely overwhelmed. Annalisa is still not convinced her date is really Prince Harry. What kind of responsibilities do you have, if you don't mind me asking? I shouldn't, I can't really say. So Matt quickly changes the subject. So what are you looking? to get out of this. You know, I actually didn't have any expectations. That's good. Um, okay. I left to be spontaneous, and it's been quite a growing experience mm -hmm. for me. I'm learning about myself, how I'm interacting with different people. But they're great girls, so I'm, I've been enjoying it. Thankfully, they're great girls. Everyone's amazing. Yeah. I mean, I, I work so much that I forget to smell the roses. You yeah. know what I mean? Annalisa was asking so many questions about who I was and where I'd come from. All right, should we head back over? Okay. But hopefully I was able to convince her I was Prince Harry. Oh, my God. She's fast. You are good. Oh, yay. I've been dreaming of being in the hot tub with Prince Harry. Yeah, girl. I wish there was a Thank game you. we would play. Truth or dare? Yeah. All right, truth or dare? Dare. Oh, my God. What's a quack, 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 quack dance you do at wedding? Uh, yeah. 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 You have to do it in front of one of his bodyguards. Yeah. 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 Oh. She completely rises to the occasion and does this elaborate chicken dance in front of one of Prince Harry's bodyguards, and it's, like, the most hysterical thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I am wetting myself with laughter. Unfortunately for him, he didn't have his sunglasses on, so he had nowhere to hide behind or look. <laughs> she was doing that as I'm sitting directly across from Babe, and he's eye-humping me. <laughs> We're having great steamy hot eye sex. 
and there's a little footsie action going on under the bubbles. <laughs> Babe's totally telling me that I'm his favorite girl. Even though we haven't had that one-on-one -on -one time, I'm really assured that I'm one of his faves. Do you think that's gonna be an elimination tonight? I don't know. No. Maybe no one is getting eliminated because Chelsea eliminated herself. But there's for sure going to be a new queen. You know, someone just goes up and no one goes home. No elimination tonight. That's yeah. awesome. Because one girl has already left our group, the girls assume like the next girl being called should be the one that's staying in the crown suite. Cheers to top eight. Top eight. Woo! Hallelujah. Uh-oh. Sir has given much thought and put great care into his decision. And he would now like to speak to... Annalisa. If you would follow me. I'm hoping to soon get that crown suite. If you would miss. What I want is time with him privately. She's not getting eliminated, no. Does that mean she's in the crown suite? I think so. Yeah, yeah. she's in the crown suite. I think she's in the okay, crown suite. Because okay. if a girl was going home, two girls would have been called. Mm -hmm. Right. So I would like to speak with another young lady. Oh God, oh God, I got it, got it, got it, got it. Please don't call my name. I am completely thrown off. You never know if you're safe. Someone's going home. Since Chelsea left the castle yesterday, the girls all thought they'd get to stay another night. Uh, Sir, I would like to speak with another young lady. Someone's going on. Oh, God, oh, God, I got it, God, I got it, God. Please don't call my name. Kelly. <laughs> crazy ideas are going in my head. I'm about to lose it. Like, this is not really happening. Like, I am going home. I'm hoping the tables will be turned and a miracle will happen. Miss, if you could make your way out into the garden. Thank you. So it was quite hard for me initially to, as you know, we struggled to get to see each other. And you're, you're clearly very beautiful. You're sporty, confident, which I like. My hands are sweating here. <laughs> um... Oh, please don't tell me I'm going home. Oh, no. <laughs> please don't tell me I'm going home. <laughs> I really liked you. Thank on you. On the first night, I thought you made a really good impression. Thank you. Um, I wasn't sure how I felt about you. Um, I don't. I just don't know if our personalities clashed or if I got to know some of the other girls a bit better. I think you are quite bold and a genuine person, and I've really enjoyed getting to know you. But you know, I've got to make quite a tough decision. You do. And. But from what I've seen, are you the girl for me? I don't know. Mm -hmm. And. I would like 
to ask you to leave the estate. I'm afraid. No hard feelings, no? I didn't get to go on my dream day. I didn't get to experience a crown suite. I just wish I had a chance to ride the horses at least. Oh, so instead of scooping <laughs> up the poo. <laughs> I'm assuming he just doesn't like beauty queens. <laughs> I still doubt that he is Prince Harry, but who knows? Maybe it is. At least I can say that I partied and hung out with Prince Harry and I hope to see him in Vegas soon. I just have to look for another Prince Charming, I guess. I didn't feel she was completely genuine. She doesn't seem to be that down to earth. I didn't get the right sort of feelings from Annalisa. I'm going to have to ask you if you'd like to move into the crown suite. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't fall off the chair. You're right, come in. Oh. I go from being an emotional wreck to literally the happiest girl in the world. Prince Harry is telling me I'm going to be in the crown suite. This is like one of the best days of my life. A gut feeling is telling me Kelly's going home. That's how I feel. I have a feeling I'm Lisa. Homegirl is sick, dirty, nasty, madly in love. Bye-bye. And she hasn't even kissed him. Never. This is the best time of Kelly's life. Oh, it's so beautiful. I could really be the perfect princess, wife, girlfriend, everything he's looking for if he just continues to give me a chance. <laughs> Next time on I Want to Marry Harry, we take the hoax to a new level. Sir is indeed His Royal Highness Prince Harry of Wales. Oh, oh my God. God! I could be a fun princess. <laughs> the fight to be a royal princess reaches new heights. We were doing our little like hand holding thing on yeah, his legs again. Time. It doesn't matter how many times she holds his hand because you're actually faking a skank and you can get out the door. You just gave me the dirtiest look <laughs> in the world. <laughs> Kelly's very jealous of what babe and I have. And Matt is pushed to the breaking point. I just want to talk to my mom. <laughs> the path ahead isn't going to be easy, but I'm hoping that the outcome is worth it.